Hey, good morning, our folks. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Justin here, my right hand man, Thomas. Yay. Hey, we're not on a homestead this morning, but uh, we got some things we need to take care of. We're down at my folks' uh, shop, and uh, we're going to be doing what are we going to be doing today? Uh, change the oil on the wheel there. That's how we got to change the fluids in the old mule here. Uh, this mule we use a lot around the house and up on the homestead, so uh, it's time. It's due for an oil change. Gonna change all the engine oil, the transmission fluid, and the differential fluid today, and the oil filter. So uh, let's get after that, and get that knocked out. All right, folks, we're gonna get try to get in here this drain plug. If I can get to it, might need get extension. Let me see the extension. I can hand you this stuff. Okay, thank you, bud. Goodness, that booger is on there. I'm going to watch you how you go and do it. Yeah. Okay. Watch you. Okay. Silly <laughs> <laughs> daddy. I can see your daddy coming. There we go. Oil. Oil. Mm -hmm. Drain the oil out. Folks, right here. Right here is the uh, oil filter. Let's see if I can get that twisted off there by hand. I don't know how tight that is. I'm about to get a pair of pliers on it. Go. That sucker's on there. Papa's got some pli bringing the pliers going at. Well folks, we got the oil filter off. I had to use a pair of channel locks to twist her off. I didn't have a they have my oil filter wrench on me. Okay. So, uh, let me get the new one out. We'll stick the new one on. All right, folks. Got the oil filter put back on with the new oil filter put back on and the drain plug put back in. Everything wiped up nice and clean to make sure there ain't got no leaks. Daddy, should I have to close up the back? Should I? Yeah, you can close it up. I just went back with the off-bend filter, not a Kawasaki filter. Went with the Wix. And uh, I just cross uh, referenced that and got that filter number for this uh, wheeler. Now we're gonna fill it back full of oil. Folks, this is what I'm gonna put back on my wheeler. Going with the Amsoil. We're gonna try this oil out. I'm using Amsoil engine oil, differential full fluid, and transmission fluid on this uh, service today. I just, the only way I can get up here is climb on your tires. That's fine. Climb on up there. Oh, you Oh, putting oil back in the wheeler. Oh. That sounds weird. Actually, that sounds fun. Sounds fun. It sounds fun. The only reason I've come in here a bunch of times is because I wanted to help you. Mm -hmm. You did a fine job helping me too. I don't want to get on me. Alright folks, it called, it called for uh, right at a hunt, one and a half quarts with the, uh, with the uh, filter I'm change. The the Put the dipstick in here and check it. I am the key. 
Uh, we're gonna fire this book. We're gonna fire this wheeler up. Make sure we ain't got no leaks. Folks, me and Thomas checked the oil dipstick. Everything looks good. Right amount of oil in it. No leaks. Nothing leaking around the plug and nothing leaking around the filter. So we're gonna move on to the transmission now and get that knocked out, ain't we? Mm-hmm. Camera down there and then see what you're doing and then I can watch you from the phone. Okay. Hi, folks. In the process of uh, draining the differential fluid here. As soon as that drains, we'll get her get her filled back up. But if you're looking, if you got one of these Kawasaki mules on the SEs, XEs, that front differential drain plug is going to be on by your left tire. And your uh, fill plug is going to be left side of the tire too, on the, by the left side of the tire also. Hi folks, front gear housing finally uh, finished draining. Got the drain plug back in. I'm putting ends. I'm also doing M's oil on the front gear. That's what I'm using. SA80 weight 90 severe gear. Like I said, I'm replacing everything M's oil this year. We'll see how she does. So right there is the fill hole for the front differential. All we're gonna do is fill that up to the bottom of that fill hole right there and. Should be good. We'll put the plug back in. We'll move on to the transmission. Folks, that is one thing I like about M's oil. A lot of their oils, they come with these uh, squeeze bags. And they come with these tips on there. To, that helps to reach in those hard to reach places on these UTVs. Alright folks, had to put a, a little uh, rubber tube on that spout of M's oil to get it in there and that a differential case. But it worked out good. Think it worked, Thomas? Mm-hmm. Think it was. That's probably the way to do it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -mm. All right, folks. One last thing to do. You got to do the transmission fluid. Transmission fluid. You got to raise up the. Uh, got to raise up the bed on the on the mule. That's Thomas pointing. Raising up. What we used to. What we used to hold up that bed with, Thomas. Yeah, we had it. We're using, using a jack stand so it don't fall down on top of us, but we'll get down in here nice and tight. That little black knob right here is going to be the fill. And now I just got to track down the, uh, the drain plug. This is the dipstick for the transmission. All right, let's get after it. What do you say, Thomas? Good. Good. Alright folks, let me see if I can get you under here and show you where this uh, transmission drain plug is. Let's see if I can't find it. Right there. That's the transmission drain plug right there. It's going to be closer to your right rear tire. Where that plug and that hole and skid plate is. So uh, let's see what size of wrench we need. and uh, We'll get her loosened up and get her drained. All right, folks, got the transmission draining. That might take a while. It holds almost three quarts of transmission fluid. So we'll let her drain and uh, put the plug back in and uh, get her filled back up. All right, folks, got the drain plug put back in the transmission case and I'm about to fill her back up. Just like everything else, I'm replacing my transmission fluid with the MZO. That's what I'm using right here. Transmission differential fluid gl5 so let's get this put back in there we'll be done servicing this utv there's one quart done there's two quarts done tell you what i'm gonna go ahead and check this dipstick and then just see where we're at this dipstick ain't the easiest thing to get to either yeah, we're right on the low mark. So we're gonna put half this other one in there and check it again. Starting on our last half quart oil. All right, let's check her. See where we're at. I think we're there, folks. I think we got what we need. 
All right, folks, this is what I use to do my service on my Kawasaki Mule UTV. The oils I use. I went with the AMS oil this time instead of the Kawasaki brand. So we'll see how that works out. So there's the engine oil, the differential fluid, and the transmission fluid. Well, folks, I lost my helper today. He went running around with his nanny. I guess he'd rather hang out with his nanny than hang out with his daddy. But, hey, I don't blame him. His nanny lets him do all kinds of stuff and feeds him all kinds of good stuff. So, hey, more power to him. But, hey, I uh, appreciate you joining me today while I service my UTV. I know we wasn't up on the homestead today doing anything, anything up there. But I just want to emphasize how important it is to keep your equipment maintained, especially equipment used to homestead with. And homesteading, it's all about being self-sufficient, and that's one of the that's one of the things I try to do myself is uh, keep up with the, my uh, homestead equipment myself to be more self-sufficient. So uh, I encourage y'all to do the same thing. But uh, like I said, I'm done. Gonna get out of here, get cleaned up, get my dad's shop cleaned up so I don't get in trouble. And uh, y'all have a great rest of the day, and God bless y'all.